What's up, 10 Scale Squad? A thing that I'm seeing a lot in our hobby is 3D printing. And it's really opened up a whole new realm of possibilities. I mean, now you can print your own spare parts. You can print stuff for your scale garage. And you can even print your own RC cars, which is exactly what this is. <laughs> My brother Matt printed this for me. This is my brother Matt. And gave it to me for Christmas. And this is almost completely, aside from electronics and hardware, this is completely 3D printed, down to the tires. But what's the real world application for this? Other than the fun of actually printing it and assembling it and putting it together, I mean, what are these things like to actually run and drive? Well, today, we're gonna find out. Now again, I don't know a lot about 3D printing, so I asked my brother Matt and he gave me the breakdown. It took about 11 hours to print on his 3D printer and he found it on Thingiverse and he gave me the link. So if you guys wanna check out this model, I'm gonna put a link for that down in the description below and you can print one yourself. So we've got a 28th scale uh, RC track here. So we're gonna take a close look at this thing and then we're gonna get it on the track and see what it's like to actually drive. And here it is. So there you can see our little itty bitty brushed motor, uh, very, very similar to what you would find in a Kyosho Mini Z. Here we have our Spectrum receiver, just a little two channel receiver, um, but that's really all we need, throttle and steering. You can barely see the little micro servo in there. That's really similar to what you would find for like uh, ailerons on a remote control airplane. Inside the tire, we do have ball bearings. And you can see there's a little tiny spring in there and that's how we get the suspension on the front. No real sort of suspension in the back. Um, there is just a tiny little bit of flex in the chassis plate. There's our tiny little ESC, again, similar to something you would see in like model aircraft. And the whole thing is printed out of PLA, except for the tires. The tires are printed out of TPU. And I'm sorry guys, I really don't know anything about 3D printing or 3D modeling. Uh, this is just all the information that I got from my brother. So aside from the motor, it doesn't really share any parts with uh, Mini Z. And the wheels and tires are not interchangeable. However, there is a provision here for a front mount, body mount from a Kyosho Mini Z body. For example, if we take a look at the Prius here, you see the Prius has this front plate uh, that is specific to each Mini Z vehicle. So you could find a body that fits the chassis, uh, put your front plate on there and get a body to fit. Now this body in particular is just a little too long of a wheelbase to fit. So if we stick it on there, <laughs> it doesn't really fit. Uh, we need a shorter wheelbase body. I'm still trying to track one down online, but Kyosho stuff is pretty hard to come by. Uh, this is their busy season for Mini Z's, so there's not a whole heck of a lot out there if you don't want to pay just a crazy amount. And for power, we're going to be using this Venom 2S LiPo. This is just an itty bitty little LiPo. You can see there it's only a 300 milliamp hour. All right, so I took it around a couple laps just to get the, the steering trim all set up. Uh, but <laughs> I gotta say, it's super fun to drive. The noise that those 3D printed tires make on the Mini Z track is pretty cool. So definitely nowhere near as fast as a Mini Z, um, but it's similar to the speed like uh, of a Mini Z in training mode. The steering is really twitchy. I might need to turn down the exponential a little bit to get some of that twitchiness out of it. And if you go really hard into a corner, uh, it will spin, which makes me think that donuts, donuts might be a possibility here. Yeah! <laughs> a good lap around this track is around the six and a half second range. A bad lap around this track is anything over eight seconds. So we don't have the timing system set up. Obviously this doesn't have a transponder in it. So we're just gonna do it the old fashioned way with, you know, the thingy over here. Let's see how fast we can go.
That was a horrible laugh. Let's try it again. Oh! One more. So with some practice, I mean, you can get pretty, you can get pretty good. Again, not as fast as a mini Z by any means, um, but yeah, I mean, it's definitely, I'm definitely starting to get the hang of it a little bit. And, uh, you know, if we dial in some exponential or dial out some exponential, uh, we can get this thing to handle pretty good. I mean, the turning radius is awesome. You can get the back end loose <laughs> and slide it around just a little bit. Um, and it's fun to drive. Oh. There, I've back end spun around a little bit more than I wanted to. So imagine having like four or five of these things, uh, you know, ripping around a track. And I mean, you don't have to use a Mini-Z track. I mean, you could use your living room floor. But imagine, you know, like half a dozen of these things ripping around all racing each other. And you know, you could print them in different colors, you know, to tell them apart. You don't have to run a body if you don't want to. It's just super fun. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this one. What do you think? Uh, are you into 3D printing? I know it's something I got to get into because this is just too cool. Have you 3D printed any car parts or cars or scale accessories? Let me know down below. And don't forget, if you want to print your own 3D car, link in the Thingiverse and the, the duo. A huge thank you to my brother Matt for actually printing this thing and giving it to me. And a big thank you to these homies right here, the 10 Skill Squad VIP. Three doll hairs a month. I make extra videos over on Patreon. Bunch of other cool stuff. It's a good time. I love my transmitter on. Check me out over there. All right, guys, until next time. Peace.